welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video tutorial we're going to be making this beautiful super gorgeous ankara mist with leather bag this bag is lined with suede it comes with short handle as well as adjustable strap as you can see this bag is super adorable i love it uh, it's a mini size of this one and this is the medium size this bag can be tied into it let's get started now with the making of this bag using the following materials we are going to need suede for lining this is suede i'm using a very colorful brown suede i'm using this fabric the same fabric i'm laying on my table instead of this i'm going to be using this leather thick leather for the straps and though side panels bottom panels and zipper panels the one i normally use for stabilizing my bag also going to be using wording thick wording i'm going to be using this thick leather to add some weights to the bottom panels thicker than this black one so this one i'm using you can use marco or carry board but stabilize the bottom panel because i will need the bottom panel to be very very thick because it's carrying most of the weights so you need zipper to need two zip eggs one for the zipper closure and another for the inner zipper like this so you can decide to make two inner zippers pockets if you want but i'm just going to need two i'm going to need two hooks for the adjustable straps the rings for this handle four of them i'm going to need this adjustable ring yeah we are going to need rivets we are going to need bottom stores or feet to make the bottom of the bag start properly we're cutting out the main panels too from this word in here using this step on each step plate i'm going to be joining two of these together i want it to be thick i will lay this on it and measure out i'm just going to cut out this one of it yeah. to make it kind of a bit hard i'm going to be attaching another panel to each of them the other two are going to be smaller like an inch or have an inch smaller than this i'm going to sew it yeah you can also iron them together or you can just put a little gum on it just to hold them in place but i want to be using the two of them combined so what i'm going to do i'm going to sew all around this is it i'm just going to sew the two together just to make it strong to sew this one to Ankara fabric and cut Ankara fabric that is bigger than this then sew this to it this is the right side of the Ankara fabric I'm going to be using the right side is going to face down like this so, and this is the one I just sewed together I'm going to be placing it on this cut around it with like half an inch or an inch bigger one other thing you can do with this wording is to iron this is the gum part if you buy it and you look at it very well you're going to see that one part of it has this shiny stuff and the other one is just plain so the one that has shiny stuff on it is the one that has glue you can use your iron and it's going to stick to your fabric keep them in place before you sew Trying to base the wording to the Ankara bricks. Mm -hmm. 
Time to do the second one now. I'm going to trim now. Trim very close to the wordy. These are the two main panels. I'm going to cut the bottom out, bottom panel, and I'm using this leather. This is the leather I'm using. This I'm going to be stabilizing it with this thick leather. As I said, you can use either Marco or carry board. This is the side panel. I'm going to be cutting two of these out. Just mark around it. This is one. We need four straps that measures about two by nine and a half inches. The D ring I'm going to be using it's one inch. The measurement from this point to this point it's one inch. To be folding it, like I'll fold the edges into the middle of this, then fold these other edges to the middle, and this will give us about one inch that will go around the D ring. That's why in width it's two inches and in length it's nine and a half inches. I'm going to be cutting out four of them, which is one, two, three, four. I'm just going to place the template on it and measure out. I've cut out the four straps. One, two, three, four. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to cut out the zipper panel. I'm going to be cutting out two for, for this and this. It measures one and a half inches in width by 10 inches. Place this and measure out. zipper panel two of them have been cut I actually cut out this foam for the side panel but i want it to be a bit hard so i'm going to be using my gum to attach the wording this heavily thick wording to the side panel i actually reduced it by half an inch so that it wouldn't get on our way by the time we are sewing so i cut out two pieces for this this is the handle of the bag this handle here and it's two inches by 22 in length and strap order i cut out four because there are four one two three four here are them each of them measures two inches in width by three and a half inches in length four of them will be required the zipper stopper is this this measure one and a half inches in width by three inches in length it, we need only one bottom panel i want it to be a bit hard as hard as this i'm going to be gumming leather to it this thick leather ensuring out the placement of the bottom feet we are going to need four bottom feet from this side of it from the length i'm going to take three inches and one to quarter so this is what i call one one to quarter this mark here I just place it on that first mark and take one to quarter. So I'm going to mark a cross, put a cross mark there. I'll do the same on this side because we are going to be attaching four bottom studs. I'll take another three inches. Be able to make four cross marks one, two, three, four for the four studs we are going to fix. Just take my seam ripper. I'm going to poke holes on them. Start from this, just tiny holes. Let them not be too big. Take your feet and you see, just went easily. They turn it open, just turn and open on this side. I don't want it to affect our sewing. You can apply a little gum on the side. To secure it in place so i'm going to remove this fabric now because i'm going to be using gum i wouldn't want this fabric to get stained apply the gum before you put the prompts down just to secure it a bit in place I 
bottle fits have the attached. So next I'm going to do, I'm going to be applying gum here and on these two pieces of leather to stabilize the bottom panel. So I'm going to take this one. This is the first layer. I'll again attach this. So if you want it to gum very well, you can apply a bit of gum. So here is the bottom panel. Let's see how thick it is now. Next is to prepare the side panels. I'll take this. So I'm going to be attaching this wall into it. I have two of them. Also, I have two of this. Apply gum here. A bit of gum. And take it. So that this side panel. I've attached this. Let me do the second one now. side panels i'm going to be fixing the handle the first thing i'm going to do is to apply gum on this i'll fold the edges towards the middle then fold the other edge towards the middle so it's going to give us something like this the total weight of this is two inch one inch will be the middle point use your pen to mark out the middle the two of them here so i'm going to apply gum i'll fold the edges towards the middle like this and fold the other one towards the middle so guys i've applied gum so i'm just waiting for the gum to get dry a bit then i'll start folding the straps have been marked this have been marked and i've applied some gum on it this ones too have been marked for the adjustable strap just going to be folding this to the middle. Use your arm on because the leather is kind of hard. The first handle. I'm going to be sewing this now. This is the handles of the bag. And these are the straps. I've gone them just the same way I explained. Just put a mark at the middle, then fold the edges. This is the strap holder. I need four of these. The ring I'm using is one inch. So this is one inch. Remember, it's two inch. We folded it into two. Just put it like this and double it up. Ensure that this edge and this edge are meeting each other. Then you can clip them together like this. See, with the strap, you take it. It's also two inches i folded it into two like this take your ring which is one inch in length i need four of these as well so know the position to place this ring strap you're going to measure one and a half inches from the edge of already prepared panel one and a half inches you are going to mark you're going to place this one this ring is going to be below the mark here and when sewing, so ensure this one comes out a bit so that the machine can sew through it. Clip it in place because we will still take it to the machine. I'll come here to and mark one and a half inches. It will go inside like this. Take it to the machine and just base on it just to hold it in place. I've marked out one and a half inches. I'm just going to place it below the mark, base it in place. If I use an industrial machine, I'm using the normal black head machine. 
So I'm going to be using my hand because it's kind of tight. Cut off the thread and do the other one. Below this mark, I'm going to place it like this. Has been done this has been done i'm going to be sewing the strap to the main panel so i've done this one i want to do the second panel now first thing i'm going to do i'm going to put it into this ring or clip it in place so now you're going to place it from the bottom measure out two and a half inches then you mark it like this the other edge i measure out another two and a half inches i'm going to mark you take your strap and place on the side of the mark like this. I show it straight. You can use your clip to clip it down and also clip this one at the top down. After ensuring that it's straight, just put a mark there, a straight line to act as a guide. I'm going to sew all the way from this point like a rectangular stitch. I'm of using my hand because it's really thick. You also use your industrial man chain thing for this. Doing it for the sake of those that just have black edge manual man chain. Out the industrial man chain, you can see make this kind of bag. So I sure you follow that line. It's going to act as a guide. I'm going to insert the last one now inside the ring and clip in place. Remember this mark here? Yeah? I'm going to place it on the side of the mark. This mark is the two and a half inches mark. Put it on the side. I just use my clip to hold it in place. I'll try and make sure it's straight. I want to put rivet on this side of it just to secure it more in place. So to attach this rivet, you are going to be needing this opocha, this size one, the smallest. I'm going to be needing this, this plank. Place it very close to this, not on this bus, on this stitch bus, close to this. This we kind of had additional security into it. Place it here like this or eat it. Guys, I sure you do this before you place your lining because you wouldn't want this to be seen. You take this long part of it, it comes like this. You are going to pass this one from the back through this old just spoke. Then you take this one and inside. On it like this some people use hammer to eat it in place but i'm using these tools this one i got from aliexpress Just eat it in place i'm going to do the other ones now last one done the two main panel two of it i've prepared them i have the bottom panel here i have the side panels to the lining i've fixed the zipper please go and check how i fix the zipper panel in the lining interface this one with wording 
why this one is i interface this particular one i'm touching now with leather i just want to show you guys how to interface bags with different materials i have a very detailed tutorial on this please go and well and it's cut out which is the same measurement with the extra i have my handles prepared i'm going to be putting the bags together first thing you're going to do is to cut a notch so you fold it into two and cut a notch i've cut a notch also in this zipper pan i'm also going to cut a notch there's a notch here already let me just cut a notch on this other side fold it into two cut a notch i want to attach my zipper panel to my main panel so i'll just take the notch parts i'll place it on this notch on the main panel like this just going to sew from this point to this point Here is it. Take the second one, take the right side of this zipper panel, face to the right side of this, and ensure that this notch on the zipper panel is on the notch on this main panel. So you align them, then you can clip them in place. I'm going to sew from this point all to this point. Quarter of an inch, same allowance. So, guys, here is the zipper panel. So, sweet. The next thing I'm going to do is to sew the sides to the bag. So, sew the side, I'm just going to align the right side of this, which is leather. I'm using a thick leather to the right side of the main panel. Just align them, then I'll clip. strap order is going to be hard getting more work here so i'm just going to use my hand to bypass that so when you get to this part you just backstitch be careful first add actually at that point So the other side of the side panel to the main panel align them i'm going to sew from this point down to this point so back to the I've sewn one side panel. I want to sew the second side panel. Just align it. I'm going to sew from this point to this point. I'm sewing the second side panel. Just start using my hand. Backstitch. So I want that point to be secure. I'm going to be sewing the last one now. Sewing the last side panel to the main panel. I'm going to sew from this point to this point. I'm going to bottom panel just take it and align it as long as you took the right measurement it's going to fit in i'm going to sew each side first but it's, it's actually hard because the material is made of i'll be sewing them bit by bit so i'll sew this side first to 
that hard part, just use your hand. Turn the first part, do the second side. I'm going to fold this now. Last part, if any of this water is getting on the way, I just clean off it will stick. Backstitch. Clean off. Be careful not to trim close to the stitch. of sewing this is what we use is for me you can only press this is the suede i'm using for the lining of this bag but i have this this measurement is the same thing with this measurement the measurement of this i have fizz the zipper if you want to know how i fizz this zipper go watch the very first video i did on the bigger size of this bag I cut out two of them I have the bottom panel here. I have the side panels, which are two. I'm going to be putting these together. This is the thread I'm going to be using. It's like dark brown. I actually took the right side of the bottom panel for the lining and placed on the right side of the main panel. So I'm going to stitch on this with that dark brown thread. If you have a thread that has the same color with this, feel free to use that half an inch. Remove the pins as you go. First of all, you're going to backstitch first. I'll sew this part, I will leave this other part open. Remember, we're going to be turning the back inside out. So just remove the pins as you go. Backstage. Cut off the thread. I'm going to do the second panel. I'm going to lay this front side, the right side, to the right side of this bottom panel to pin them in place. Uh, I'm going to sew at half an inch. side panels to it now i'm just going to pin the side panel to it second side pin with the right side of this facing the right side of the bottom i'll pin this other side too so once i finish pinning i'm going to sew from this place all the way to this place i'll be sewing from here all the way to this to burn some excess thread I'm trying to turn this one out now coming out now put your finger inside and push don't worry about it getting really good you can always iron it's fabric turn it out See, look at the material we have on this pack. 
remember what we use we didn't use leather we use wording i don't attach this i just clipped the hands in place first not fit the lining i'm going to put the lining inside the bag this is the right side of the bag and this is the right side of the lining i'm going to take the right side of this bag and put into the right side of the lining use your hand to push in the ester now no it's a bit thick anyway just push it that was the same way i'm doing we are going to do some alignment you are going to align this part of the lining to this side of the bag part of the zipper is going to come down like this so you're just going to align this part will come to this part like this so if you have clip you can clip them in place i don't have enough clip so i just use the ones i have So this zipper, I'm going to push it in. Since we don't have enough clip, I'll just sew one side first. Then when we finish with this side, we'll use the clips on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from this point. Sew all around. Back of course, kind of pull it forward. So sewing. Make any adjustment put your needle down then you raise the foot up like this you can press you're allowed to press and you can open the seam here so your machine can sew through you can this one out. Put your hand inside and pop out this push. I'm going to stitch all around it to give it that professional look. I'm using black thread, but I don't have the exact thread for this. Hope it goes well. Top it from the outside or from the inside. It's preferable to top it from the inside since you are going to see what you are doing. You know, it's very thick now. I'm going to be using my hand to just wind straight. You have to stay. If you notice, I'm not using the normal thread. This size three. So I'm just going to be doing this gradually till I finish. Check to see if his top stitch is going well. It will be better for you to use a thread that matches with this. I'm going to iron press it down to kind of carry this bag like this. See the way it is, so cute. Or you can start it in this way, just press this one inside and bring it to strap hold and in like this. Then take your strap. I'm going to open your strap like this. Carry it like 
like this or you use just carry this one I carry the strap across your shoulder and it's adjustable very very adjustable i make it shorter i make it shorter if you want i'm going to be fixing the handles now so kiss your rivets i'm going to be using this two here it's one inch two i'm just going to turn my bag this way you can sew if you want i'm just going to eat it at the middle like this then from the back i'll pass one like this First, I'm just going to do the same all around it. I'll eat from the back. Even this too. I'll finish attaching the rivets to the back. The last part is going to be sewing the bottom close to do this you are going to fold it like this simply top stitch with your merchant as simple as that if you like this video do not forget to give this video a top score did another video of a similar bag of this so in that one i used leather instead of um wording okay take note i use wording for this so instead of wording i use leather and that one is quite different from this that one is a big size there is the same pattern very very detailed if you want to know how i made that bag please go watch go to the somewhere here i think so just click on it so watch if you love what i'm doing subscribe and top up your notification bell because i'm going to be posting video every single week unfailingly i do not forget to give me a thumbs up if there's anything you want to suggest to me guys let me know in the comment section and also share to people who are interested in bag making who are going to benefit something from bag making let me know in the comment section below if you actually gain something by watching this video it's so cute seriously guys say eh? it's not because i made this bag oh. i'm actually 100 percent crushing on this bag in fact that it's so portable portable and I love the strap, or like the first version. I'm sure I'm going to make another one again. Okay, thanks for watching my video for today. Have a nice day. And...